All right, Jesse. Well. It's just leaking out of boots. Yeah, but that's because of the seal. So, what's going on, YouTube? Wednesday, January 7, 2015. Jesse over here is uh, working on some brakes on the four-door. By the way, it now has a blue front end in case that's not in there anywhere. This is the white one, the one that we put the motor in. The same one that also broke down on the interstate with us. That video is up. And then the video swapping the motors up. And then I think that's it, really. I don't think there's much else. Um, there goes Kelly in the Explorer. But I'm loving this camera. It's auto focusing and it's got that light assistant thing. We can see what you're doing for once. This is just bizarre. But he's changing the brakes out because they just they decided not to work anymore. Uh, and he got new rotors. And here's uh one of the old rotors. It's got a little bit of a roughness to it, but it's not terrible. There's a couple of degrees, but you can see it's, it's turned down just a teeny bit. But rotors for these Honda Civics are literally like 20 bucks a pop. So we figured, I mean, even a junkyard rotor will set you back about 15 to 10 to 15. So brand, well, he's already got that one on brand new rotors. You can't beat that. So we went ahead and got those, but these are still, they're not shot. They're a little worn, but they can be turned probably one more time. So we're gonna hang on to them. Um, and then the pads started to crack. Now they still had line marks in them, but they were wearing uneven. The back's worn, and it, it, it thins out as it goes this way. So I'm, I'm thinking either the pad wasn't sitting in there right, or it, uh, or maybe the caliper is going bad on this side. But you see this one's the same way it's cracking this one's wearing a little funny too well, this hub was on the wrecked yeah, and this hub came off a wrecked car so there's no telling why but uh yeah it's like i'm dropping stuff out of my pockets but, I'm not. but yeah so he's i don't think it does lighting no Oh, look at that. We went to the junkyard because the caliper on the other side's one that's sticking, right? Yep. Yeah, so we got a new caliper. I didn't realize that bumper had that big of a cut in it right there. Yeah, I didn't either to the day. Gosh. Oh, but we've got that putty stuff. Yeah. We can smooth that out and get it ready for paint. But... I kind of think these brakes are going to be a, a, a temporary thing because we're trying to find drilled and slotted rotors for it. Right. Did you get the uh, caliper pushed in yet? Yep. Okay. Sway. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But later this afternoon, because it's pushing five o'clock now, so I guess we're already into the later part of the afternoon. But um, we're gonna go. Is it a two door? Yeah. The other one. Two door. <clears throat> two door. Got to go pick up another two door. Because the teal two door, which we don't have a video of, which I need to get up soon. Um, we need some parts for it. And then Jesse scored on these wheels at the junkyard the other day. Um, these were the red cars, the red EG four door. These wheels. No, no, no. What did these come off of? The burgundy. It's what I just said. The burgundy four door at the junkyard. You said a red four door. Red four door. It's all. It's all like a shade. Okay, burgundy is like a shade of red. It's red. We had to. Huh? I said, don't get mm-hmm. I got wrenches over here. Uh-huh. And there's a brick. Yeah. 
There's one over here too. I can get to mine quicker. See, look, you had to bend over. You don't have to bend over to pick that one up. You have to find another valve cover. I'm not aiming at you. <laughs> 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 but he got these off the the red burgundy, not blue four door. Cause we got a burgundy trim, burgundy bump, like a blue front end, a white middle, and then a burgundy ass in the car. Yeah. It, this is off the same car we took the wheels off of. The burgundy trunk lid and everything. So it's burgundy and it's blue and it's white, but it'll get painted soon. And then we today we scavenged all the trunk carpet pieces that we needed because it didn't have those and it was missing it ever since we bought it. So now we'll have some pretty trunk carpet, make it look like a car, it's worth something. You can put stuff back here other than tools. And then we can put a spare in it. Yeah. Pretty nice. I was thinking about using this one. Right. Yeah, nothing's wrong with that one. Nah. Nah, it's Gucci. Definitely oh yeah. It looks. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, I busted this one last night. And I had to go take the uh take my spare and a jack. And then I finally got the red one moved. Um I had to put a donut on the back and it actually looks huge with that donut on there. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's really fucking cold. It's like 15 degrees here. I wouldn't doubt it. It's pretty freaking it's cold. To down to negative five. And I got the kerosene heater lit in uh, there. <laughs> got it burning. Oh, stuff oh that's the new one. It's the other side. Scored these nice hubcaps off my red back there that you just seen. Cause we got brand new 14 inch tires for that. And these are 13 inch hubcaps. Yep. So when that happens, I'm gonna go to uh, that tire place over, that junkyard place over in Roebuck and find four 14 inch Honda hubcaps. Gotta rock hubcaps. Cause you gotta put hubcaps. You can't, you can't, we ain't in that Steely game. No. We ain't like David. We don't do that whole you know, I'm baller on some silver steely Just stuff. Just because they're cleaning on me. No, keep it classy. Keep it covered. Put plastic on it, man. Keep it classy and white. Be a Walmart warrior. You got to keep plastic on it. So. But the B2 is still rocking out great. Oh, yeah. Beating it daily. Beating it daily. The stage 2 clutch is fine, but I think the throat baron's not happy. Um. But that's what you get when you use Chinese bearings on performance parts. So cheap way out isn't always the best. So this motor is probably coming back out, and we're gonna pull that tranny in, put a very nice. He makes a good bearing for that. Autosome. We ain't putting an autosome bearing in it. We'll put a not shitty ass bearing in it. We'll spend real money on one this time, and then fix the oil leak off the valve cover or the distributor. Again. Yeah, I think it's the valve cover. I don't know what it is. These damn things piss all out the damn valve covers. A Toyota I valve cover gasket fix it, but Hondas, they just like eat them. They don't eat gas, but they eat fucking oil and valve cover gaskets. And tires. And tires. Well, that's, that's your own fault. That's your own fault. You gotta go low. Oh, we gotta find another side skirt. I blew mine off for run now 85. Yeah. But but yeah, this one came off on the passenger side. Just blew right off. So. We're just trying to race a little four pick em up truck. Hey, good news, we beat them. But we lost the side skirt. So, and then the other day, I was coming back from Bowen Springs and the fucking hood opened coming across Lake Blaylock and I about died. A new hood I just got two weeks ago. Yeah, a new hood and I legitimately probably about died because I'm just motoring along and I look down and I get my phone and I'm picking a playlist on YouTube and I set my phone back and then wham across the bridge and the hood just goes oh, bam and smacked into the windshield and I thought it busted the windshield but it didn't. Chipped but it, it chipped it but I still about died. So I had to get this other hood to yesterday. Which he was going to get anyway. Don't make him, th don't, don't let him fool you stupid ass. He, he was actually going to do this anyway. Because the red one was curled in right here on the corner, which was a big enough imperfection to make us decide that it wasn't worthy of fixing. So, so I scored this nice whole front end for 80 bucks. So we're about to hold front end. And this has the, the bumper brace delete and 
so there's nothing behind here but when you bolt it down good you don't know the difference that's just for less weight and then all the ac components have been deleted uh, any extra wiring and bull crap has been removed if if if, it, if the car doesn't need it to run we took it off so the air cleaner is just for looks we actually don't run it either it's it's pointless you know fuck that shit you don't you don't need it it's just it's cosmetic it's just so you have like a a focus point when you open the hood to strike up a conversation so we need to find a header for it stock exhaust but you need to find okay but we need to find a header for it stock exhaust so it's nice and quiet but you at least want it to look like it's meaner than it is because no one's gonna believe you if you're like you do realize this motor is built right and you're like hey, cast iron manifold you're full of crap but oh well so he's got this side off of being low you got to put a brick up on your tire to get the jack out yeah he's got this side off figured out and uh you better hope we don't have to bleed it and look he just remembered that brake line off. so bleed that something. you push the caliper in though but he didn't think about that until he got the wheel almost on there and i didn't realize he was putting the wheel on because i'm too busy over here bloody It's okay. We'll figure it out. You see all that debris on the floor? Those are his dreams. That's that's his dream. And they just they just shattered. <laughs> You're gonna have to bleed it. Because you. Well, all the lines go back to the thing. You can bleed them one at a time, but you push this caliper in and that one's coming off. So you're definitely gonna have to bleed that one and you're gonna have to end up bleeding this one too. The back ones, we'll do that when we do the, the back brakes. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop the camera then. That's all the updates you get for right now. We'll do something else later that doesn't completely suck. So. Okay, you slide the jack up on there. And I'm gonna pick this thing up. Okay. See ya.